Dear Dad, who would have dreamed taking a semester off to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student was murdered at the high school last night. And Daryl Gray, the student council president, found the body. When Aunt Eloise heard, she rushed me right over and introduced me to the principal. He asked if I would try to find out who did it and why. So it's undercover I go. My only contact is Daryl, so I'm off to solve a murder. I'm calling this case Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. You look like you're going to make an excellent addition to Paseo Del Mar High School student body. I'm Daryl Gray, Renaissance man, short order cook, student council president, and professional escort to pretty new students. And do you really think so? <laughs> Definitely. You're amazing. You've got a mysterious quality I find very intriguing. 
<laughs> Mysterious. You seem different from the other girls. I think I'm going to enjoy being your contact. I'm here to help. If the police trust me, so can you. Daryl, you should know I'm involved with someone. I've been seeing him for a while. His name is Ned. That's cool. I always like to check out my options. Isn't Ned worried about you? Worried? If I were Ned, I'd be worried about leaving an attractive girl like you alone with a murderer on the loose. Who was murdered? A student named Jake Rogers. When I found him, it looked like someone had pushed him face first down a flight of stairs. It was nasty. Tell me about Jake. He wasn't exactly a friend. He came by the diner a few times. Nancy, I hate to leave such a beautiful detective, but I've got a hot grill waiting for me. See you later, okay? Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Hulk Sanchez. Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the Manatees, one of the best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the Miami Dolphins. Showtime! College ball? Yeah, I'm playing great football this year. I'm expecting an offer from a Big Ten school any day now. What will you do if you don't get an offer? There's no way I'm not going to play college ball. Unlike Jake Rogers, I'm a winner. Unlike Jake Rogers? Jake Rogers was a loser. No one liked the dude. Even if he'd lived, he was headed for trouble. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later.
A new face. Hi, my name's Hal. You sure arrived on a day with a lot of activity. New face? I study every face I see. To me, the face reveals a lot about a person. What does my face tell you? You are a very open person. You like adventure and care about people. Very good. How could you know all that about me? I don't have to be a psychic to see you are a good person. <laughs> wow, not bad. You can make a living at that. Maybe, but my plan is to become a doctor. A doctor? Oh, your family must be very proud. Yes, they sent me here to study medicine. I want to help people who are sick. I also want to do well and make my family proud. Do you feel you fit in here? Most of the students were cool when I first arrived, but there were a few, like Jake Rogers, who weren't as friendly towards me. Sometimes, I feel lonely and far away from my family. And Jake was someone who never made me feel welcome here. Well, how did Jake make you feel unwelcome? I feel uncomfortable speaking about this now. Please, excuse me. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Have you heard of Hulk Sanchez? Heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? Daryl found Jake's body this morning. He's very popular and a good politician too. Just like his father. Like his father? Yes. Daryl's father is former U.S. Senator, Eugene Gray. I hear he was a great politician, but not a very good businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? I'm sorry, Nancy. I can't help you with that. Talk to you later. I must go now, Nancy. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. Hi, this is Jake's locker. Hi, I'm Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Usually Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Today, it's totally out of control. Is it that obvious? It's a small school. Nothing ever happens here. A new student is big news. I can't believe you even noticed me with all the excitement on campus today. We girls have to stick together. There are a lot of wolves walking around campus. Aren't you even concerned about the murder? Jake's dead. There's nothing I can do about it now. Why so casual about Jake's death? Jake Rogers was a total creep. Nobody liked him. I gotta go now. Later. What's up, Nancy? What do you know about Hulk Sanchez? He's a big jock on campus. Never dated him or anything. Do you know Hal Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get a scholarship for college. Lately, he's looking really burnt out. I think the pressure is getting to him. What pressure? Hal is maxing out on course hours this year. He needs to prove himself if he's going to get a scholarship. If he doesn't get a scholarship, he'll have to go back to Japan. That would be a total disgrace for his family. How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student council president, holds a cool job at a diner called Maxine, and drives a Porsche 911. Drives a Porsche and works at a diner? <laughs> that doesn't compute. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time. 
but not anymore. Do you know the combination to Jake Rogers' locker? Why would I have known the combination of that jerk's locker? Why are you asking so many questions, Nancy? You're not working for the police, are you? I gotta go now. Later. Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? You're wearing a Japanese medallion with a symbol that means crane. And crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. This is Bess. Bess, I need some help. Any ideas? This is such a puzzling situation. Fane residents. George, this is Nancy. Can you give me some advice? There must be other places around the school to investigate. Have you checked all over? Hello? Hi, Ned. I'm in a jam. Do you think you can help me out? To open the victim's locker, I'd think of how letters and numbers could be related. How's it going? What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why do you think she hangs out at the gym so much? I don't know. She's a pretty good athlete, but never joined any of Paseo Del Mar's teams. Why do you think she never joined any teams? Hmm. Not exactly sure. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine, real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake Rogers. Fan? Tanaka never missed a game. That is, until he started hanging out with Jake. How was a friend of Jake's? Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? Where'd you hear that? I'm as strong as ever. How's it going? What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Back off, Nancy. Tell me about the robbery at the Drug Depot Pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Hi, Nancy. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes. We've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Nancy. What is it you want now? Hulk told me money's been tight for you these days. What a dork. Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. 
Do you know why Jake had a video camera in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. What is it you want now? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? I gotta go now. Later. Dianabol is a steroid and was one of the drugs to... How can I help my number one detective? How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Well, I know the guy can scarf down half a dozen burgers at a time. He's the best linebacker ever to play for the Manatees. He also told me he's really psyched to play college ball next year. Manatees? The Seo Del Mar's high school football team. They're number one this year, all because of Hulk. He's their star. College football? Hulk's dream is to become a great college football star and then play for the Miami Dolphins. He lives and breathes football. Do you know Connie Watson? I've seen her around, but we've never had a class together. I don't think she's ever been to Maxine's. Why do you think she's never been to the diner? I'm not sure. She's very private about what she does after school. See you later. See you, beautiful. This essay looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. Hi, Nancy. Jake knew you copied your essay from that book of English essays, didn't he? Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Well, why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. 
Please don't tell anyone about this, I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Talk to you later. Goodbye, Nancy. How can I help my number one detective? What can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Well, for one thing, his name isn't really Hal. He uses Hal because his Japanese name is way hard to pronounce. He's an exchange student who's all study, no play. And he's obsessed with getting a college scholarship. Poor guy. What's wrong with wanting a college scholarship? I feel sorry for him because he's missing out on all the fun of high school. He needs to seriously chill. Was Jake interested in judo? <laughs> You're kidding, right? The only physical thing Jake did was to think up new ways to get other people to do his work for him. What do you know about the break-in at the pharmacy? Well, the police thought it was a prank at first because it didn't look like anything had been taken. Then the pharmacist found one particular drug missing. I think it was a steroid or something. Hal, Hulk, and Connie were all involved with Jake. He had information that could jeopardize Hal's career. Connie once dated Jake, and Hulk seems awfully touchy about that break-in at the drug depot. In my humble opinion, you either hand the case over to the police or keep pressuring each of them until somebody cracks. Oh yeah, Nancy, I just remembered. Some guy dropped off this note for you. I think it's important. What guy? It was weird. I've never seen him before. He just handed me the note and took off. See you later. something to make this work. I need something to make this work. I need something to make this work. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Bye. I'm out of here. Oh, it's you, Nancy. 
I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Talk to you later. See you later, Nancy. What is it you want now? Goodbye. I'm out of here, Nancy. I need something to make this work. I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor. Bother someone else. Jake knew you broke into the drug depot. He was blackmailing you, wasn't he? Yeah, he found out I stole the steroids and threatened to turn me over to the cops. Would have meant the end of my football career if I didn't cooperate. What did he want from you? You name it. Chauffeur, errand boy, bodyguard. He loved ordering me around like I was his slave. Why did you steal the steroids? I got hurt really bad in a game a few weeks back. Broke four ribs and cracked two others. I had to keep playing even though I was hurt. Needed to impress the scouts. And then I started taking steroids. It wasn't worth it because I was still in pain and all my free time was spent playing errand boy for Jake. Errand boy? The last thing Jake had me do was deliver a note to Daryl Gray. It was in a sealed envelope so I couldn't read it. My bet is Jake was blackmailing Daryl too. Bye. I'm out of here. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Talk to you later. I must go now, Nancy. What is it you want now? I know you're the unknown winner of that judo competition. Jake Rogers had it all on videotape. Yes, Nancy. I'm the mysterious winner of the men's tournament. It wasn't easy for me, and I'm proud of what I did. Why did you enter a men's tournament when you could have easily won the women's division? The prize money is a lot better in the men's division. It was enough to cover the tuition for college next year. Hey, I'll do whatever it takes to reach my goal. Now I'm going to be the first one in my family to go to college. Whatever it takes? Even murder? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't kill Jake. Jake was threatening to expose you, get the prize money revoked, maybe even make you lose your black belt. <laughs> Those are a few solid motives for murder. I didn't kill Jake. You can turn me in if you want to. I'm telling the truth. Goodbye. Bye, Nancy. How can I help my number one detective? I saw Jake's tape, Daryl. I know he was blackmailing you. You got me there, Detective. But it didn't have to be like this. I wish we had met under different circumstances. What were you selling? Drugs? Trade secrets? I didn't know what I was getting into. This guy, Mitch Dillon, offered me a way to make some fast money. I needed the cash for school next year. So I went for it. All I had to do was pick up a package at the pharmaceutical company. But then Mitch threatened me. So you were a drug runner? Oh, Daryl. But how did Jake find out? I don't know. But Jake was always getting into someone's business. Maybe he overheard a conversation between me and Mitch. All I know is one day Jake stuck a videotape in my face and told me he had enough to put me away unless I paid him off. 
I had no choice but to cooperate. I guess he decided he could get more money out of Mitch. That was a big mistake. Mitch was in a different league than Jake. Mitch killed Jake, didn't he? Mitch is totally capable of it. Did Mitch also leave that note for me? Nancy, you have no idea what kind of danger you're in right now. Mitch Dillon has nothing to lose at this point. Do yourself a favor and go to the cops. Do you really want me to go to the police? Actually, I wish you could just forget this whole thing ever happened. But since you can't do that, I'd like to help. If it's not too late. We need to get more evidence on Mitch Dillon. If only we can get him to confess his involvement with Jake's murder somehow. I care about you, Nancy, and wish you weren't involved in this mess. But if you insist, I'll help you catch Mitch. I have to deliver more food to the pharmaceutical plant later. We can try and grab Mitch when I give him the package tonight. See you later. Later, detective. I've told you what I know. Listen, my body's my temple. I can't risk it for anyone. Hulk, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. Sorry, babe. I can't risk getting involved. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Hal, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, this case will move a lot quicker. My future is at stake. I have to make the grades or my family won't continue to pay for my education. I must go now. Hey Nancy, need something? Connie, we're going to find the person who killed Jake. If you help out now, the case will move a lot quicker. Uh, I wish I could, Nancy. I can't take that kind of risk right now. Not with college just around the corner. If I get involved, the truth about the tournament would be exposed. I'll never go to college if that happens. If you cooperated, you'd be helping out Daryl Gray. This is so hard for me. I've been wanting Daryl to notice me since I was a freshman. But I've come too far to mess up my chances of getting into college. Daryl's in big trouble with the police. If he helps catch Jake's killer, the police might go easier on him. I can't do it. I have too much to lose right now. Daryl's recovering just fine, and Connie's giving him private judo lessons. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal got his scholarship. Today, Aunt Eloise got a letter from a friend, something about a television station and death threats. Sounds like another case for Nancy Drew. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Love, Nancy. <laughs> 